So, Kane, is it more difficult or easier to fight somebody for the second time? Um, I think the same. It's, you know, it's, it's easy. I mean, obviously, you don't know what to expect, but, uh, you know, you've trained for him before. You've had a whole training camp before. And then, you know, in, uh, in my case, I mean, we've had, you know, Daniel has, uh, has fought in Vicpo before. Also, Mike Kyle has. So, you know, I have some insight as far as not, not just me, but then, you know, my, my teammates have fought him before, so. But there were certainly some things he must have been doing right the first time you fought. What, what do you feel like you need to prepare for with him? Just, you know, um, if he comes out with a different plan, a, a different strategy, you know, if he comes out more aggressive. Um, we've seen that the, the power he has in his hands, you know, with his boxing. So definitely be aware of that, you know. But uh, everything else, I mean, we'll keep him with the same game plan that, that we have with this fight, with every other fight, just using our style of fighting. And I'm curious your perception of him because he's somebody that people love to doubt and they love to make him the underdog. And then he comes out with these wins, sometimes very explosive. You can't. You know, in, the, in this fight game, you can't underestimate anybody. Can't take anybody lightly. You know, um, that's a big mistake on, on, on anyone's part. No matter who's a, who, who's across you, um, you can't do that. You know, I'm not doing that. I'm taking this fight very seriously. I know what to, what's at stake for this fight. So, you know, um, I'll give him all the respect he he, he deserves. I'm wondering about your headspace. Are you somebody who likes the, the challenge, I guess, of being the champion with a target on your back, or do you prefer it away when you're not the champ and you get to hunger for that? Um, I get both, you know. Um, the, you know, with the first one, you know, gaining the title and then losing it, um, that pain I felt, you know, I don't want to feel that again. So I don't want to get in that situation anymore. So the only thing I want to keep doing now is keep winning, keep uh, gaining belts, and, um, you know, taking all, all on oncomers right now. So. Did you think in the fight with Junior Dos Santos, did you think he was out on his feet at one point? Because for those of us working, I was actually working with Daniel that day, and it, it looked like he almost was. Um, not really sure, you know, I just know he was tough and he just kept, he just, he just stayed in the fight and I had it in my head that it was going to be a five round fight, a war, you know, and I mean, it was, it was a tough fight. So, I mean, I threw everything I had at him and he, he just kept going, you know, kept going. So it was tough. Well, and it, it's amazing to me because some people are like, well, geez, Kane, why didn't you finish the guy as if it were that easy? <laughs> It was, you know, it was, it was very hard, you know. Uh, I tried, you know, I threw everything I could at him, you know, I didn't use uh, my, all my jujitsu, but. That's my style of fighting, is to uh, get on the ground, keep punching, even on the feet, you know. Uh, so I just did what I, what I normally do. And like I said, I was working with Daniel that night. He was quite emotional at your victory. Can you just talk about the, the closeness? Because you're more than friends. It's coaching, it's training partners, it's more than friends. Yeah, it's like you said, you know, we're, we're friends, we're teammates. Uh, he's my, my main coach, you know, as far as for, for the whole wrestling thing. And also, you know, um, I think we would kind of both coach each other, you know. If we're training with each other all the time. We're trying to make each other better all the time. So during training, we, uh, we'll see little things here and there. You know, we'll just try to improve on it. You know, we'll tell each other what, what we think we need to improve on. So spending a lot of time with each other, you know, he's, he's the best one I get. Um, I haven't gotten a, a fight out there, you know, harder than, than I do with him. So uh, it's definitely, you know, something that keeps pushing me forward. He told me too that you go pretty hard in practice. You don't pull a lot of punches. <laughs> you know, when it's when it's uh, sparring day, I mean, it's, it's it's all out. You know what I mean? That, and that that's what we're doing. And I train the same way I fight. You know, 100%. Um, um, but it's a little different in training. You know, if you find like that you hurt your teammate a little bit, you know, it's when you, it's when you just kind of lay off. You know, you don't go for the kill, um, obviously. So, um, but you know, keep that intensity going. And lastly, he also told me that he loves you, like you said, more than a, more than a friend, more than this, but that you're tough to take a road trip with because <laughs> he said you talk about two things, food and cars. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. That's I mean, my, my, my passions, you know, my, my family, food and cars. That's it. You know what I mean? So uh, I have friends in the gym that are car guys. So, I mean, I can definitely relate to them, you know, as far as talking about all that kind of stuff. But um, they it's a little harder, but I'm trying to I'm trying to bring them around, you know, so. Well, I have a 57 Chevy. My husband and his dad uh, restored it. Um, but what are you driving these days? Right. You know, right now, um, I drive a Volt, like to practice and back. Yeah, yeah, you know, I can fit in that. I think that that's a great car, but uh, I have a 71 Torino, a 71, and uh, did some motor work to it, and uh, two motorcycles, and the one from Harley that, that they hooked up and let, let me customize, so that was a great experience for me. It's very nice. Well, thanks for talking to me today, and best of luck to you in your fight. Thank you.